welcome to the third in a series of videos demonstrating the capabilities of Nintex workflows. Hi, I'm Dean Virag, and in this video, I'm going to go over the final area of the workflow designer interface, the designer canvas. Let's begin. The designer canvas is where you create and update workflows. In this example, I've already opened an existing workflow to demonstrate how the designer canvas works. The designer canvas contains the following items. The start point which indicates where workflow processing begins. Actions. This is the meat of the workflow. These are all the things that are going to happen during the workflow. Drop zones. These indicate where actions can be added. Endpoint, which indicates where the workflow processing ends. There are two methods of adding actions to the designer canvas. The first is by dragging actions from the actions toolbox and dropping them onto the workflow. For example, to add a conditional branch, open the logic and workflow category, then click, drag, and drop the conditional branch action onto the designer canvas. The second way to add an action to the designer canvas is by right clicking on a drop zone and then selecting an action from the insert action menu. For example, to add the set workflow variable action to one side of the conditional branch, right click on the drop zone and then select Insert Action, Operations, Set Workflow Variable. To delete an action from the workflow, click the white Dan Arrow icon located in the top right of the action and then select Delete from the menu. Notice the yellow warning icon on the conditional branch icon. That indicates that the action has not yet been configured. To configure an action, click the same white down arrow icon as before, and this time select Configure from the menu. That will open the configuration setting windows for the action. Please note that each action has its own unique settings, the details of which are beyond the scope of this video. Using Nintex Workflow Designer, there is no need to manually recreate similar actions within a workflow. Actions can be copied and pasted. This is a huge time-saving feature. To copy an action, click the white arrow again, and this time select Copy from the menu. To paste the action, right-click on the desired drop zone where you want to place the action, and then select Paste from the menu. And that's it. Now you can change the configuration of the new action to suit your needs. To rename an action, click on the gray box at the top of the action and type in the new name of the action. Remember, from the ribbon you can click the settings icon to update the name and description of the workflow or to change the start options and you can click the Save icon to save your changes. You can click the Publish icon to publish the workflow to the list or library that you're working from, and you can click Close to return to the list or the library. Let's go ahead and close this and return to the library that we were working from. Now, let's take a look at a curious behavior of Nintex workflows. When I reopen Nintex Workflows, notice that the workflow that I just saved and published is not there. It's important to note that Nintex Workflows opens to a blank canvas by default. To access the workflows associated with the Lister library, click the Open icon on the ribbon. There, you will find all the workflows that are associated with the Lister library. To open a workflow, simply double click it from the list and the workflow will appear on the canvas and is now ready to edit. So that's it for the designer canvas. In the next video, we will begin to look at how to create some simple solutions using one or more actions. Thanks for watching.